Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Lees, and in this Mental Health Minute, I want to talk about the genetic predisposition that underlies eating disorders. The Academy of Eating Disorders evaluated the scientific data on eating disorders, and in 2009 determined that eating disorders should be classified as biologically based mental illnesses. A biologically based mental illness means that um, current medical science agrees that eating disorders are caused by a neurobiological disorder of the brain, that eating disorders significantly impair cognitive function, judgment, and emotional stability, and that they limit the life activities of the person with the eating disorder. The scientific data that the Academy evaluated included genetic studies which showed that eating disorders are heritable conditions, or in other words, they have genetic aspects that can be passed from parents on to their children. While there aren't any specific eating disorder genes, uh, what genetic studies have shown is that the inherited traits that make a person vulnerable to developing an eating disorder are those that define personality style and emotional temperament. There are certain uh, personality characteristics that increase a person's risk of developing an eating disorder, and they include things like being perfectionistic, and having more obsessive compulsive like tendencies, not liking change and preferring predictability, order and routine, preferring to conform, um, to please others and to play it safe rather than to take risks, having black and white or either or thinking, and being very emotionally sensitive but not liking to deal with feelings. These traits are remarkably consistent among those who have eating disorders. Uh, they're usually evident prior to the onset of the eating disorder. They can become accentuated during the course of the illness, uh, and they can continue in varying degrees once recovery has been achieved. Having these traits does not mean that an eating disorder is inevitable, uh, just that there's an increased risk when other environmental factors combine to enhance the genetic vulnerabilities. The saying is that genes load the gun, and environment pulls the trigger. So the cumulative effect of normal life stressors or even experiencing a traumatic event on top of the genetic vulnerability can be enough to turn a diet into an eating disorder. For more information on the genetic basis of eating disorders, please visit my website at eatingdisordersmilwaukee.com and thanks for watching this Mental Health Minute.